Hello all, welcome to part 41 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to retrieve scenario names into hooks methods. So let's get started. In the previous session, I have organized the hook methods in Cucumber projects. Okay, we have created a separate package and under that package, we have created a separate hooks class under which we created the hook methods. Now, I am going to show you how to retrieve the scenarios, okay, into the hook methods, okay. So, for that, I will quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. As you can see here in the Eclipse ID, if I expand this and all, okay, if I close all this stuff, if I expand this uh, SRC, test Java, you see I created separate hooks package under that, you can give any name here and any class name here. So I created the hook methods here, okay? Hooks methods. You can have any number of hooks methods before, multiple before methods you can have, multiple after hook methods you can have, before step, after step, all those hooks related methods you can put them here, that's okay. But what I'm trying to communicate here is, okay? What I'm trying to communicate here is, let me expand everything. So here, I want to retrieve the name of the scenario for which this before hook method is running, and after hook methods are running, okay? So uh, from the runner class, we'll run the, run the, uh, uh, run the things using JUnit and uh, that particular runner class will invoke this feature files. And as per the details given or instructions given in this runner class, the respective scenarios in the respective features file will run. And accordingly, before each and every scenario of this uh, running uh, feature files, okay, this hook methods will be, at the rate before hook methods will be running, at the rate after will be running, after each and every scenario that is running as part of the feature files, okay? But now I want to retrieve the scenario name, okay? Here I want to say, system.out.println, okay? I'll write some different symbol, asterisk, asterisk I'll provide, okay? Just to make a difference. Here, in the setup method, I'll say scenario, scenario, okay? I'll hold the mouse on this uh, scenario and uh, let me hold the mouse on this scenario and import this scenario from IO Cucumber Java guys, okay? Other don't import from other places, import it from IO Cucumber Java, that's it. Now this scenario, using this, we can get the uh, name of the scenario, which is uh, before which this before hook method is running, okay? So execution of, execution started for scenario, iPhone. I'll just provide that plus scenario here, okay? So asterisk, asterisk will, okay, just putting this symbol so that we can identify that statement in the output console. Here, you see, here I'll write down asterisk, asterisk, execution ended for scenario hyphen plus scenario I'll write, okay. Here also I have to write plus scenario, but here scenario is not visible here because I have to write a scenario here, okay, scenario, scenario, done. Now it's okay. So this, uh, this is a predefined class from Cucumber, which will retrieve the scenario, okay, into the hook methods, okay. So now, I'll go to the runner class, guys, and see what is there, at the rate all is there. That means all the scenarios in all the feature files are going to be run, okay. All the feature files, all the scenarios in all the feature files, that is uh, here, uh, almost 14 scenarios, okay, from all these three feature files are going to run. That means this hook methods, before and before we'll be running, before every 14, okay, before each scenario means, before every for, uh, every of the 14 scenarios before will be running, after each of these uh, 14 scenarios, after hook will be running. And as per that scenario also will be printed, we'll see that in the output console, how it will work out, okay? Right click and run it with, with uh, JNIT guys. And JNIT will invoke the feature files, feature files will invoke the, okay, step definition and hooks and all those stuff, okay? So here you see 14 have run, okay? 14 scenarios, we can see the output properly now. Uh, let's go here and see before scenario, before hook will be running. You see, execution started for scenario with scenario. IO Cucumber dot Java scenario is coming, but this is not the thing that I am wanting, right? I want scenario name, guys, not like that. So, here, guys, to make that happen, you should not be writing only scenario, guys, okay? You have to use this object reference and say dot get name of the scenario, okay? You have to say get the name of the scenario here also dot get. If you don't provide get name, what's happening? It's giving, it's printing the object guys. Okay. It's printing the object. Okay. Let me run this test runner again after putting that get, get name there. Okay. Right click run as JNU test. Now you will see. 
the scenario names will be printed this time okay instead of objects getting printed just go to the top you can see that execution started for scenario with scenario login with valid uh, credential scenario so browser got launched and all okay this is before hook method in that scenario we have retrieved and scenario name we are retrieving and printing with the help of scenario dot get name okay so like that guys you see execution ended for scenario this scenario name is coming same thing for each and every scenario that got executed you see scenario name, scenario details got retrieved and printed in the output console and as we know that uh, total 14 out of 14 scenarios from this uh, three feature files got executed for each and every scenario in the output console we got this before and after hook methods with scenario details retrieved and printed so hope guys uh, you understood uh, how to retrieve the scenario names into the hook methods in this session so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye